Let's move now to Durban and the community of Sydenham is living in fear amid an escalation of gang violence there. A school pupil has become the latest victim caught in the crossfire. More gunfire broke out over the weekend and our senior reporter Desen Thathia has been visiting the area, joins us now from Durban. Desen, talk to me about Sydenham. What, is, what do we know about Sydenham? Is it always known to be a violent area? Has there been a sudden escalation? Okay, so also I think to start, let me first locate it. It's near the CBD. It's a fairly small suburb that's there. And central to the story of gang violence there are three blocks of flats, remnants of the apartheid era, era, uh, era rather, and the Group Areas Act. So you have these three blocks with about 120 units in each of them. So what that effectively means is that you have about 500 people, I would say, per each per, per block. Now, most of the violence from the reports that we've received seem to emanate from two of those blocks. So if you look at how it's located, you've got them almost next to each other. But in the center, you've got a clinic. So the issues here, and we've spoken to people on both sides, so to speak, you've got a block A, you've got a block C. Those are the ones that we are talking about specifically when it comes to these stories. That's where these shootings seem to occur, and that's been happening over the past few years. It's been an ongoing issue. What has now raised the concern of residents in particular is the frequency of these shootings. You mentioned the weekend. There, there was almost incessant uh, gunfire that took place there over the weekend where bullets went into the homes of pensioners. There were vehicles that were damaged. And you mentioned also the, the school pupil that was shot that happened recently just in the past week or so. So lots of these incidents occurring. And while the drug turf war is common knowledge in the area, it's an open secret. What's of major concern now, particularly among those residents that are not involved in the drug trade at all, is what's going to happen to the kids that play there, mm. what is going to happen to the elderly that try to get their bread. So while this goes on, you have these risks that play out. I mean, there's a playground there. And, and so, uh, you know, before we pick up the rest of the conversation, I'll also tell you, it looks abandoned. And one of the residents was saying it's because they're afraid to let their kids play there. So you've got all of the, you know, the, the usual stuff that you find in the playground that's just looking rusted and not used simply because it's too risky for children to play there. I mean, imagine growing up in an environment like that. It sounds like uh, the sort of scenes we hear from the Cape Flats. Is there any understanding of why um, crime has escalated in this troubled area? What is the community saying to you? Look, the community is saying that it has been an issue for the longest time and purely because there is this animosity that exists again, between these two blocks, so specifically this block A and block C. And if you go to either one of those sides, they'll tell you a similar story about the other side, that that person shot at this block. And if you go here, they'll say the same thing. So that's why it has not stopped. And there's been very little conversation between these two sides, so to speak. Yes, there is interaction on a lower level, but there hasn't been you know, any kind of a concrete initiative to get those two sides to talk. So today, we visited both those blocks when we were covering the story. And as I said, we, we heard these types of comments. I had an opportunity to speak to some of the residents there about what they think are possible solutions to end this violence, because it is getting to a point now where it's almost certain that someone will die as a result of a stray bullet. The solution, yeah us to get because we at a block we know the culprits that are making the problem from c block so c block if they know people that are making the problems in a block we should get together bring the names out and sort the problem out because there's no use c blocks and i say a block a blocks and i say c block but we personally like me personally i have two names that i know they constantly are bringing because they are they uh, they are actually having affairs with these guys from cape town so the one is going out with the one that stands by the clinic and shoots the side which we have seen with our own eyes. And when we shout back, the girlfriend stand by the window and start swearing at us. So as I'm saying is, we're going to have to bring the names out. And if they have names of A-Block, 
bring the names out and we can sort it out because this is never ever gonna end. It sounds like a, a really difficult situation. What are police doing? So police are saying something similar. They're saying that at the heart of solving the problem is community dialogue. So in a sense, yes, they are there to police, but at the same time, it's also a social issue that they're dealing with or social issues that they are dealing with. Even if you look at the layout and how those blocks of flats are, like one of the comments that I made earlier to police officers was that this is such, an uh, such a dangerous setup because if you look at the front of those blocks of flats, you, you see just slats of concrete that are there. And it's very difficult to see if someone is about to open fire on you 11 floors or 12 floors mm. below that. So the setup itself is a problem. Police officers were saying the same thing. They get there, they get there in a single vehicle, and then people start stoning them. Jesus. So there's a lot wrong with that. And they feel that they can't deal with those social problems. They can't deal with uh, the, the problems of poverty or the fact that uh, children, and I must comment on this as well, the police say that one of the arrests that they made recently was of a 12-year-old for, oh. for a crime linked to the sale of drugs. So this speaks to the issue there. If you walk around there, you will see young boys, or most of them, between 12, 13, 14, some of them 17 and 18, they are hanging around there. So what they're saying is we are doing what we can. I asked, is it... Uh, feasible to bring in officers from other parts of the country. So let's listen to part of that conversation that I had with Brigadier Jay Naika about possible solutions on their front. We need to be honest and, and look for a permanent sol a solution. There is a big drug problem here. And bringing police officers from other parts of the province, other parts of the country is not going to help uh, sort that problem out. Because as soon as they leave, these drug dealers are going to move back into the area because, like I said, there's a, it's a lucrative market. So we need to do a redeal with the root cause of the problem. Um, like I said, uh, you, you know, even uh, we, we get information uh, from members of the community that are living in these areas. But when police get there, obviously these drug dealers are being tipped off by other people, and we are told that these drug dealers are paying other people in, in those flats um, to be their lookouts to even keep their drugs. So. Unfortunately, whilst there are, very, uh, there are a lot of law-abiding citizens living in, in, in that area, amongst them are people uh, who collude with these drug dealers, uh, maybe because they, their children also are either drug users or they, they, they in, involved in the drug trade, or just because they, it's an additional income for them. I mean, that is no way to live. Not only are you afraid to take your child to the playground because they might get caught in the crossfire, uh, but at a certain point, your children might get targeted by these gangs to start selling drugs for them. That 12-year-old accused of selling drugs. Really worrying situation in Sydenham. Thank you so much for bringing that story to us. That's our senior reporter in Durban, Desinthathia.